Once you have that OEM unlock toggle enabled, you'll then need to reboot the smartphone into fast boot mode. And the easiest way that this is done is bring up the power menu, restart the phone, and then immediately begin pressing and holding the volume down button as soon as you see that screen go dark. And you want to continue holding this button down until you get to a screen like this as your ADB and Fastboot files. The easiest way I have found is if you right click around here, you should see an open in terminal message there. However, you can also press and hold the shift button on the keyboard and then right click on an empty spot anywhere in the folder and you should get a open in terminal or open PowerShell window here. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. Now it's going to be a good idea to run the fast boot space devices command from this same folder. And you want to check to make sure you have a successful connection from your PC to the phone. So we press enter and you want to make sure you get a response here with your serial number and then the word fast boot. If you don't get a response showing your serial number, then you need to install proper USB drivers for nothing phones. When you're ready, we're going to need to execute the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. And as soon as you press enter here, you should be told that this is an OK response. And then you'll see your phone change to a new bootloader unlock screen. Once you see this screen here, we're going to use the power and volume buttons to navigate these menus. So we use the volume down button until the unlock the bootloader option is highlighted. And then we press the power button to select that option. You're going to see your phone go black. It's going to reboot to that nothing logo. You're going to be told that the bootloader is unlocked. After you have booted back into Android, you can again double check to make sure everything went through successfully by enabling developer mode again, diving back into the developer options menu and checking on that OEM unlocking toggle. If this toggle is grayed out, then that means the bootloader is unlocked and you did everything correctly.